Hello, my name is uh, Jason Serio with 3D Enterprise Systems. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a undervolt on a uh, Acer Predator CPU um, using the Intel Extreme uh, Tuning Utility, which uh, you can go to Intel and download. And um, you have all the controls to do uh, undervolt of the CPU in order to control your uh, temperatures and to give you, uh, you know, a good uh, temp. So I'm going to start this broadcast uh, with the camera so you can see, uh, you know, I'm using a Predator. Well, using the Predator, let me give you the exact name. It is the Predator G9-793. It is a 17-inch screen. Um, I'm going to be showing you now um, how to actually, uh, you know, go in there and to do the undervolting via uh, Intel Extreme Tuning. So, see the page over here. Now I'm going to open to uh, Intel Extreme Tuning. Once I open that, you know, it's going to ask me, yeah. <clears throat> um, also, it's a good thing to have, uh, you know, the Predator little thing which tells you uh, your cooling, like your temp and stuff like that. Uh, my CPU temp is running at 58 uh, idle, uh, GPU at 43 idle, and all of our system internally is at 36 uh, degrees centigrade idle. Now, in order to do a undervolt, you know, you want to come here, you're going to have your default settings, which are these right here. 45 watts for the boost power max, uh, turbo boost uh, 56 watts, 0 0.250 watt, um, 10 seconds adaptive uh, default core voltages, so forth, so forth. You want to leave almost all this alone. Uh, don't touch it. Now, I got a um, good undervolt uh, with this. Let me see if I can try to show you the values. So over here is the default values right here. This is all the default that you know stock from the chip. Now <clears throat> I am proposing a undervolt uh, core voltage of uh, negative 0 0.110 volt, and the rest, uh, everything I'm going to leave as is. Also, the core max, uh, I did drop the amperage a little bit from 70 to 68. So I'm going to press apply. And that is it. Uh, my system is under, you know, um, underclocked. Well, not underclocked, but uh, hold on, give me a second. It's undervolted, I mean. Uh, we're going to test the system. We're going to do a benchmark score. As you can see, the CPU utilization, uh, package temperature, core frequency. Core frequency is actually going to stay the same uh, stock, but you're going to get better uh, temperature performance with this uh, underclock. We are still not uh, thermal throttling either, and the CPU frequency is still uh, pretty much stable. CPU temp, it's rising at 60. That's the packet temp, still good. All cores are being used, still no thermal throttling. Uh, we are boosting to uh, 3.4 gigahertz. Temp is still uh, climbing. We have to wait till uh, we reach equilibrium. But yeah, this is a, a very uh, 
simple way of uh, undervolting your CPU for uh, your Acer Predator laptop if you have uh, cooling issues. Um, this is a very simple, foolproof, uh, easy way. Uh, you could technically undervolt it a little bit more, but I wouldn't suggest it unless you know what you're doing. Still haven't had no uh, thermal throttling at all. And, uh, we are almost done with the benchmark. <clears throat> From our uh, temp graph, it looks uh, pretty much stable. We do have a couple of peaks and a couple of valleys, but um, it does look stable with no uh, thermal throttling. Now, might I mind you, I am testing this PC on um, IC uh, Thermal Pad Graphite, uh, which I installed. Uh, you can watch my video on uh, my channel. But um, if definitely, if you have stock pace and you're having um, some thermal issues, this will definitely help uh, your computer. So we have a Intel score of uh, 932 marks. Um, you know, the max uh, CPU frequency was 3.4H, which is, you know, very respectful. Um, also, the highest temp, which is, uh, you know, 68 degrees centigrade. That is uh, actually good for this uh, calendar clock. Now, we can run a stress test on the CPU, also the memory, but I'm not going to do that because we don't have that much time. But if you go to profile, you know, this one, I have native uh, 0. 110 volts um, you know I went a little bit further but I did not really get that much gain but uh, let's you know show this value change the uh, thermal abuse uh, power max short to 65 well not 65 sorry 56 degree uh, ooh, sorry 56.250 watts also change the turbo boost time, uh, 10 seconds. Uh, core voltage is negative, 0 0.125 volts. Also the processor uh, ICC max, we also changed to uh, 70. So pretty much we left that the same. We're gonna apply these defaults. Go back to benching. So it was like 900 and something, right? Now we're gonna run the benchmark and we're gonna see what is the difference between this um, you know, under volt just a little bit tad more um, than the other one that I had. And now uh, we'll see if it helps the, uh, the thermal grass right here. So on our last test uh, on the undervolt, we were reaching a temp of 68, I believe, max. Let us uh, see where we get max with this one. We are still not uh, thermal throttling, so everything looks uh, quite good. Everything still looks good. We're actually at 59 uh, max degree centigrade on the CPU package. Well, we just went up to 62. But so far, it's been uh, stable running back and forth between um, 58 and 62, 63. So it's been running stable at those times. Uh, 
and also uh, the core frequency um, you know has been the same uh, we have had moments where it has uh, throttle up to 3.43 gigahertz but um, mostly it is uh, 3.41 gigahertz Let's finish with this uh, benchmark and we'll see our beta score with this uh, under volt, which is uh, negative 0 0.125 volts. So, okay, we pretty much got the same, I think a little bit less uh, from the score, but our max temp instead of was 69, uh, was 68, and uh, processor frequency actually went up to uh, 3.47. So I do hope um, y'all like uh, for me showing you how to use uh, Intel Extreme Tuning uh, Utility. Um, there's many different options here you can go to for uh, oversets and so forth, so forth. But I recommend if you have an Acer um, Predator laptop, I recommend a um, you know nice uh, good undervolt. Uh, let me show you my value that I have here. It's right here. If uh, you want to you know copy them, write them down, so that way you can put them into yours. And uh, so far, you know, I've been using this undervolt for like a year and have not had no issues at all. And you just apply it, and um, you can actually, you know, if you want to monitor, you can monitor more, you can do a couple of bench tests and stuff like that. But, um, you know, that's all you have to do is just uh, save it, uh, apply it, you know, your proposed, uh, you know, underclock, uh, sorry, not underclock, undervolt. Uh, once you apply it, you know, you just close this out, and you should be done, good to go. All right, thank you. I do hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I'll give a link and a uh, shout out there. And um, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. And uh, keep watching uh, my vids. Um, I'm going to be posting a uh, uh, liquid metal. I'm going to be opening up this uh, Acer Predator and replacing uh, thermal pans with liquid metal. So that way everyone can see how it's done properly. Thank you.